The biggest thing that inspires me is the attention to detail in Formula One. I used to walk around the stores and uh, pick up all these beautiful parts. You know, there's a lot of passion and there's a lot of love. So I thought I'd try and combine my passion for engineering and my passion for motor racing with my passion for sculpture. Also, good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you, so David. So this is it. This is the magic uh, engineering shop. Yeah, this is where we produce our sculptures. I've been in um, motorsport in the UK for 30 years. I started at uh, BAR as a chief mechanic. In 2003, Jensen came on board. He was the first British driver to come into the team. And how good was Jensen when you were working with him? He was a breath of fresh air for the team. We spent a lot of highs and a lot of lows together. Budapest, his first victory, you were there. Great feeling. His eyes just uh, sort of beamed out of his helmet. So I commissioned you to do a special project for Jensen. Can we take a look at what's made so far? And we've used parts that are related to Jensen's career. We've got the main shaft from the 2007 Canadian Grand Prix, a selector barrel from one of the Grand Prix, and then we've got some uh, floor stays from, uh, in, from 2009. This is a piece of Formula One art that encompasses his career. Although it's a different creature completely to a Grand Prix car. Hopefully it'll take Jensen back to um, you know, the, the days at Braun. And to complete the Formula One touch, it will be painted locally and uh, using some Formula One expertise. Yeah, um, all my sculptures are painted at the Mercedes paint shop. And we decided to just put a little bit of pink in the, um, in the sculpture for John's uh, shirt that he used to wear on race days. I remember every weekend John being there and being a big part and very knowledgeable for a, for a father. Uh, a reference to John will really sort of encapsulate the emotion of his racing career. It's quite an emotional thing making this sculpture. I think it's a very, very special present. Absolutely beautiful piece. Here he is. Look at that, still I fit. I always love seeing that smile. You do? Yeah. Bring it in. I feel like we've been here before. What, saying goodbye? Yeah. Or saying hello. Saying goodbye. Yeah. Well, it's a partial goodbye, like the last time. No, this is. I'm. Well, yeah, exactly. I'm still going to be about. You're still going to be about. Yeah, but I do think of this as my last race. You do. I okay. go into the weekend thinking it's my last because it, it's a good chance it will be. So. Okay. Well, I'm happy you said that because then the fact that we have a small gift for you from but Channel Four. That doesn't look that small. Let's lift it up, shall we? We have. A oh piece of my! Wow. That is amazing. And I also know who, who made it, yeah. Alistair. The guy has just an exceptional eye and he's done such a good job with so many of these over the years. And this is oh, very, very special. Well, it's got lots of different parts from cars that you've raced over yeah. the years. If we start with the bottom, that's part of your McLaren. Yeah. An exhaust from uh, your Honda racing team. Oh, wow. Bits from the Benetton in 2001. The pink band. Yeah. A little reference to Papa Beautiful, John on it? there. Yep, yeah, absolutely fantastic. And I love that it's a V8. He didn't choose a V6. No, no, it's proper. Yeah. Proper. Oh, fantastic. Right, Thank well, you, you so much, guys. That you, amazing. You're more than welcome. Can't take my eyes off it. It's like a beautiful woman, isn't it? Look, at the, look how curvaceous it is. Um, it's been quite a journey, your 17 seasons so far in Formula One. Yeah. There is that, yeah. still that hanging of you. You may come back in 2018 yeah. or the team can call on you next year. Yes, the idea of, of having the option to come back in case I get bored next year, that's the reason for the contract for 2018. But my feeling is still the same, that I don't want to race you know, uh, in Formula One. Whether that changes in six months, I don't know. So that's why I look at this as my last race, and I'm going to enjoy it as my last race with my mum, who's here, who's behind watching. So a real celebration of a fantastic career. The highs, of course, the championship. Yeah. You've got the Braun name on the front of this. Is that enough for you? My aim when I, got, when I arrived in Formula One was to win the World Championship. You know, when I was growing up as a kid, it was, I want to get to Formula One. I want to win the World Championship. You didn't put a number on it. You know, you chose to win, you, you wanted to win a World Championship. That was the dream. And, uh, and I won that World Championship. What is it that, that sort of come together in your mind yeah. to make you want to stop at this point? Is it, is it mental fatigue? Is it disappointment yeah. that things haven't quite gelled yeah. right now with McLaren Honda? Mental fatigue, definitely. Um, thinking that, 
17 years of my life doing the same thing. It is the best job in the world and, and you still can think, you know what, I want to try something different and, and that's me right now. I want to go and do triathlons and people think, you're a Formula One driver, why would you want to go and do triathlons? Because I'm passionate about it and I want to do, race another series and you know, I might race in another series in the future where I can get another world championship and that really excites me. Turning your mind to this weekend, do you, you just see it as, let's get it over with and then I can start planning the rest of my life or do you no. want to savour every single lap that you're going I will. to do? And every other race, it hasn't felt like that. You know, the last three or four races, I haven't had that feeling. But here, yeah, I'm going to jump in the car and enjoy every lap I do, because I know it will be the, probably the last time. Is there a particular message you would like to give to those that have supported you in, in your career in Formula One? I would just like to say a massive thank you to the fans. You know, they've been so supportive over the years, and um, I really want to put on a great show for them this weekend so that they can smile when I cross that finish line and retire. You arrive with dreams into Formula One and hopefully you leave with memories. And I definitely leave with some fantastic memories.